Today I'm going to a place in the South Pacific that was known as the Pacific Proving Grounds, and it was between the years 1946 and 1962 that the United States of America detonated 105 nuclear bombs for nuclear testing. First place I'm going to is called the Annie Weetok Atoll in the Marshall Islands. I'm going to go there. So here we are. This is the Annie Weetok Atoll. The Atoll is made up of all of these little islands around here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a picture. And here's the picture I wanted to show you. And what you see here, you see one, two, three, four, four little islands. You can actually see a fifth one over here. It was codenamed Ivy Mike, and it was detonated November 1st, 1952. It was the first hydrogen bomb the United States had ever tested. It took place on November 1st, 1952, on this island right here. I think it's pronounced Ilugilab, or Ilugilab, right here. So they detonated it right here, and that, you can see, I'll show you another photo real quick, right down here. You can see where the island was, right here. So the island was here, this is before detonation, and this right here is after detonation. Then on May 12, 1958, about five and a half years later, they detonated another nuclear bomb on Teeter Island, right here. It was codenamed Koa, K-O-A. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Google Earth, and I'm going to go to that location, and you can see it's right here. This is the location where Ivy Mike, hydrogen bomb, codenamed Ivy Mike, was detonated. And right next to it, right here, is where the 1958 detonation of Koa, K-O-A, was. And this is also the former location of Teeter Island. So you can see these bombs literally just turn those little tiny islands into craters. Now over here, as I get in a little closer, you can see another little crater right here. And that one was part of the, what they called the, the Red Wing testing that took place in 1956. And this one was called Codename Seminole. And that was uh, blown up June 6, 1956. Okay, now just to give you an idea, this crater here, the hydrogen bomb crater, the first one, the one that took place November 1st, 1952, they say that the diameter of this crater is 6,240 feet. Now keep in mind, a mile is 5,280 feet. This is 6,240 feet. It's over a mile. In fact, it's 40 feet short of being a mile. And its depth, they said, is 164 feet right here. Now if we go down the atoll a little further to the southeast, you're going to come into an island called Runnet Island. And you're going to see two craters here. You're going to see this one here and this one here. The one on the right, right here, was uh, was codenamed La Crosse. And that took place during the what they called the, the Red Wing testing. So this was Red Wing La Crosse. And this bomb was blown up May 4th, 1956. And you can see the perfect little crater that it made right here. Right next to it is a crater that was made in 1958. Actually made May 5th, 1958. It was codenamed Cactus. And it made a crater very similar to this one. Well, what happened to this crater is this, that in 1977, it took three years from 1977 to 1980, 4,000 U.S. servicemen came to the area and they they scraped up all the uh, contaminated topsoil. There were a lot there were a lot of areas contaminated with nuclear contamination and there were a lot of objects contaminated with nuclear contamination. So it took them three years to collect it all. They dumped it right here into Cactus Crater. Cactus Crater they said was 346 feet in diameter and about 37 feet deep and they dumped everything inside it and then they covered it with a cement dome that's about a foot and a half, 48 centimeters thick. So underneath this dome right here in the Any Weetok Atoll on Runnet Island, there is a cement dome that is housing in tons and tons of nuclear contaminated topsoil and anything else they found that was contaminated. Now as you go around, you can look and like I said, between 1946 and 1962, there were 105 nuclear bombs tested in this atoll and the Bikini Atoll. And if you look around, the you can't really see much because the ones that were done on the ground, they left definite marks. A lot of the other ones were done right off the coast of Runnet Island on barges or out in the uh, open area. But 
There were many nuclear bombs de detonated in the Eniwetok Atoll. Now if we go to the east a little, you're going to see the Bikini Atoll, which is right here. And there were several nuclear bombs detonated here. In fact, if you look up in this area right here, the first bomb they de uh, detonated right here in this area took place March 1st, 1954, uh, during Operation Castle, and it was codenamed, the bomb they blew up here was codenamed Castle Bravo. After Castle Bravo in 1954, they had five more nuclear bombs that they detonated right here in this area that were on barges. Uh, the first one was May 11th, 1958, and then May 31st, 1958, then June 14th, and then July 2nd, and then July 12th. All those were on barges right here in this area, and they all took place in 1958. Now I looked around, there's a little indentation here that may or may not be a nuclear bomb. If it is, I didn't do enough research. But if we go down further around the island like this, you can see right here there is a, a bomb crater right here. And they basically detonated three bombs in this area on barges. The first one was May 27, 1956. It was codenamed Zuni, part of the Red Wing project. And then there was another one May 21, 1958, codenamed Nutmeg, part of Operation Hardtack. And then another one in this area, July 22, 1958, and that also would have been a part of Operation Hardtack. So if you go around... You can't see much more, but you do know that a lot of bombs were detonated inside here. Now, over here there were a couple of bombs detonated just off of this side, and you can see there's an underwater crater here. And the bombs that they detonated here were on barges. One of them they detonated right here in this area was named codenamed Maple, and that took place June 10th, 1958. And then pretty much in the same area on June 27th, 1958, they had another one that was part of the uh, Red Wing project called Redwood. So there you have it. Pacific Proving Grounds right here in Eniwetok Atoll and Bikini Atoll from Google Earth.